How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Far Cry 5 or actually to my first Far Cry 5 map editor tutorial video. In this video we're going to show you how to teleport the player from one location to another. Uh, this map that I'm using is called MSG5 Omega Camp made by my friend uh, Major Zero. My name is Fallen Ninja and let me show you what it actually does. So once you walk into a certain area it is going to teleport you and you can see this cool text appears as soon as you teleport. After you teleport, um, with the time that you set, this will disappear. Um, it should be a few seconds now. There you go. Um, and that's one of the cool things you can do with the new scripting tools. And let me show you exactly how to do that. All right, so you have your starting point, which is this right here. And let's say you want the player to teleport as soon as he appears right here, or as soon as he walks into this area right here. That's where we're going to put our trigger. Before we do that, we want to set up the uh, destination point. And as far as I'm aware, you can have several different um, spawn points, but I'm going to make just one very simple inside of this building because it's easy to work with. Um, you want to head over to your object list, and you want to get a spawn point. Maybe you want to get two, one for player one, one for player two, just in case they go in at the same time. You don't want them to get stuck inside of each other. I don't know if that's possible, but let's just play it safe. Let's let's do some, some proper coding here and scripting, make things work properly. The next thing you want to do is you want to get a script, which you can search for it in the search bar down here, or very easily go to gameplay, scripting, script, and let's put the script right here next to these two players. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is you want to find the text you want to use. So let's say I want to use the text like I did in the example. Where is it? Uh, letters and numbers. And I wanted to say by. Very easy. Spell it out. Um, it would have been nicer if Ubisoft allowed us to create text on the actual screen. Now you can type it out like they did in the DLC for the zombies. Um, they were not able to do that, or maybe they might uh, include that in a later date. But for now, we've got this, which works just fine in 3D. But um, the other text would have been good to create custom quests. But you can do the same thing with this. Bring the text up here. Let's rotate it so that the player can see it as soon as they teleport. But boom. Perfect. Now, the next step is you want to make everything that you just created work together. Uh, you do this by clicking on the script and you want to add actions. The script plays every time you go into that section. And what you want to do is cue the script. You add your action. The first action is spawn object with lifetime. And that's referencing to the text. Let's do the B. So you click on pick object and then this changes over to picking. Once it happens, you click on the first uh, word and let's make this last. I don't know. Let's make it last. 15 seconds. Just type down 15 and you have quite a bit of time. You can do it up to 999 seconds, which I don't want to do the math on that, but it's a long time. Now let's choose the another action. Same thing, spawn object with lifetime, pick object, click on the Y, and let's do this one disappear in 14 seconds, just for the giggles. Perfect. Add another action, same thing, spawn object with lifetime, press on the E, oops, that, uh, I messed that up. So you want to go back to the script, you want to go back to that action, and now after you click on pick an object, let's click on the E and let's make that one last 13 seconds. Perfect. So now whenever this script plays, these uh, letters will appear and then disappear after the time given. Let's add another action It's going to be the, the main one and it is teleport player. Press OK. Now right here in action parameters is going to ask you to choose a spawn point for player one and the spawn point for player two. Let's click on that. It says picking. I'm going to click on the first spawn point. 
Let's click on the second one for player two and click on the second spawn point. Perfect. So great. Now everything is set up to work. Uh, all those all those objects and everything that we put down is meant to work together in that one script. The the next step is to actually create a trigger. Now you have different ways of doing this. Today we're going to do it by having a trigger volume. Um, trigger event. I have to look into that. Trigger look at is when you look at something specifically, and then trigger volume is whenever the player work uh, walks into the area. It's probably going to be your more common one for your simpler uh, your simpler scripts. So right now we've got a box. You can do a box or a cylinder. I prefer to use a box. And let's bring the size up on the x axis and the y axis. And you can do the little bit a little bit of the z. If you want to be safe with the player maybe climbing stuff or trying to avoid your script. And then the next one is you want to select the script that's going to work. Uh, at the moment, I don't think you can rename them. Hopefully we can eventually, but for now, they get their own random number, which you want to just go ahead and click on that. And now you can see this black line appears, which correlates this volume to the script right over here. Oh, next one. So it's actually connecting to the script. And then when you click on the script, you want to make sure that all the actions within the script work. Let's test this bad boy out. All right, we're in the game. And let's see what happens when we walk into the area that we just uh, highlighted. Boom. Screen goes black. You spawn in. Something's a little bit wrong with the spawn, but that's fine. And look, it says bye. Pretty cool, in my opinion. And this you start disappearing right about now. Awesome. There you go. You can do that at uh, whatever time interval you want. You can make the text appear when you spawn in. There's a, there's a, a lot of few things you can do. Um, you can the scripting tools that they they released. They're basic, but you can do so much if you get creative. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.